We've received hundreds of complaints over time regarding people calling homes, saying they're the IRS, saying that they owe back taxes, they're reaching out via the internet and email. Again, the same scam, you owe back taxes, give us the money now, we will arrest you, and they're really threatening people. This is not a new scam. Just talk about over the years, why does this keep working? Uh, because unfortunately, uh, over $26 million has been paid to scammers. Over 5,000 individuals nationwide have been taken advantage of. I literally got a call from a friend last week uh, whose mother got taken advantage of. Uh, thankfully, he was able to stop the payment out of the bank prior to it happening. Um, so as long as there are those people out there who unfortunately will fall victim to it, they will keep at it. I think that sometimes what they do is they will target someone and really it's throw it against the wall and see what works. So if they have success saying it's the U.S. Treasury or a branch of state or federal government, then they'll try it. And if it works, they'll keep trying it until it doesn't work anymore. What do people need to know? What people need to know is at one time we said the IRS will never call you. Well, last year Congress passed a bill which allowed for debt collectors to call on behalf of the government. But what people need to understand is if that call comes, they will not demand money over the phone, they will not demand you get a prepaid credit card, they will not demand payment right over the uh, phone with your own credit card, and they're not gonna ask you for your personal information. So if you get that call, Number one, you should hopefully have been contacted by the IRS first, either uh, through snail mail and sometimes several attempts. Number two, don't give any personal information. And three, call the actual IRS number, the 1-800-829-1040. And that way you can actually confirm whether you owe money or not to the federal government. If they haven't lost money yet, but they've lost their personal information, mm -hmm. what should they do? The very first thing they should do is one, report it to local authorities, and two, get hold of your credit reporting agency and put a fraud alert on your card. That way no one can take a loan out in your name, no one can get a credit card in your name, and it will stop those fraudsters from trying to steal your identity further and um, literally accessing your personal accounts or creating new ones in your name. How about for people who do end up losing money? They can't stop this. They realize it's a scam because the money just disappears. They're, these are very hard uh, cases to uh, research and investigate and, and enforce. So oftentimes, unfortunately, the person will be out of that cash.